Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. Uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, game review unboxing. I mean, I've already unboxed this. I've got a storage solution here, but I kind of wanted to walk through all the parts of both the Dune main game from Gale Force 9 and also the, the Dune expansion, Ixian and Tlilaxu. So what I'll do is I'll walk through it. I'll show you what all the tokens are and components of the game. And we can talk a little bit about the gameplay. I will be doing a game setup and a it's a multiplayer game but what I'll do is an, I will do a full eight player with the expansion rules simulation gameplay walkthrough uh, similar to my other gameplay series so uh, check that out also check out my other uh, channel Pontos Fathom Press we're going to be doing Dune all next month we'll be talking about Dune uh, the inspiration for the game for the upcoming movie uh, been a big Dune fan for a long time also can support the channel with Dune Revenant it's a fan fiction seventh dune book written about 20 years ago this is the hardcover 20th century companion edition would help us out a lot let's get to the games so first of all let's start with the main box i told you i've already got the solo storage solution in here uh it comes with the great rule book this is a fantastic rule book i mean look at this it's just so clear the tokens are represented you know if you ever see some board game rule books they don't show you the actual pieces they just come up with some name like the battle wheel and you're like what's the battle wheel is it this round thing no they have a picture of the battle wheel um, all the player factions you can see their different tokens so let's kind of walk through the player factions and those tokens uh, that you get with the main game uh, as we do that so you start out with uh, also a quick start guide this is great for people who just want to see the basics uh, you see the the house houses are House Atreides, the Bene Gesserit, the Emperor, the Fremen, the Spacing Guild, and the Harkonnen. Um, I'm using the Folding Spaces uh, insert organizer. I've got another video on that that you guys can check out. I'll leave the link below. And then you get this awesome map. So you get this is the Dune map and all the play happens here. As you may know, uh, Gale Force 9 is reissuing. This is actually an old game from uh, back in the 1980s and I gotta say the new version looks really great the art is great the the design concepts are, are really cool in this game uh, okay so let's go through the the factions that come with the main main game so first of all we get the uh, we'll start off with the Harkonnens so among the game components that you get is you get for each of the houses you get uh, larger discs which are actually the leaders and the leader fighting uh, tokens you get player markers and smaller tokens which are the forces and then you get a number of smaller pl uh, player tokens for each of your components so these you can use this is the Harkonnen logo sort of um, so each of the houses have that so we have um, in the in the different houses that we have are the imperial houses Harkonnen imperial we've got the Atreides we've got the Fremen we've got the Bene Gesserit oh sorry we got the guild sorry the Bene Gesserit and these are the Fremen here so each of the factions also comes with uh, their fraction faction card so this is sort of how each of your turns play out. So each player gets one of these. Go into these two with the expansion set. Atreides and Emperor. And then each faction also gets a screen that you can play behind. So again, you've got the Atreides, the Harkonnen, the Imperial, the Bene Gesserit, the Fremen, the Spacing Guild. Uh, also, additionally, there are the spice tokens. So spice tokens are used, the, the resource of the game is spice. And then there's um, some mechanics that are used throughout the gameplay. For example, one of the gameplays has to do with traitors and different treachery. These are the decks of traitors and treachery. So you can kind of see here, there are different kind of treacheries that you can apply. Uh, and they're based on the different houses. So you can have uh, family atomics, and, uh, different kind of treacheries. Also traders. So one of the mechanics of the game is 
you can have a traitor among the, the enemies. Uh, the Harkonnens are quite good at that. There's also some spice cards that come with the deck, the spice deck. Spice is mined across Dune, so part of the gameplay is moving across Dune for the spice. And, and then miscellaneous cards, game turn cards, storm cards, prediction cards, and alliance cards. So that's the basic components of the uh, main box game. With the expansion set, it just adds two more houses. So these are great because they're, they're are actually very they are actually very cool houses from the Dune series. These are the Ixians who are machine based, and the Tlilaxu that the face dancers come from. So the addition to these two uh, make it fully expanded Dune Gale Force Nine game. In my, in my simulation walkthrough, I'm going to do a game with the expansion houses and all the characters. So we can go through the gameplay and the setup in that set of videos. I'll, link, I'll leave the links for that below. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Check out the link, I think, in this corner. And that'll lead to setup of the gameplay if you want to watch that. And we can start going through the turns together. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, please like and subscribe. Check out our Patreon below. We're going to have some extra videos. Uh, it'll be Dune all month, and as I mentioned before, check out Pontos Fathom Press. We're going to be doing, if you like the Dune topic, we're going to be going deep in the Dune book. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.